<laughs> so guys, since you come up now on a he bus, this is an electric bus called um I don't know how it is called, but it is by Basigo, which is a local manufacturing company that has produced this bus and it is being operated on the Ebasava Circle platform. So I know most of you maybe probably have used this car sometime. You can see the driver is there already. And uh, what we will do, we will get in there and experience this bus. This is a brand new bus. As you can see, the number plate is KDQ, very new. And I want us to get in there. And uh, we to pattern in a Konda na driver wake uh, to pay a tour of this car to do what is different from what we have usually seen in other uh, matatus. So, boss, Mambo? Fiti, fiti. Yes. yes. Able to introduce Kidogo to Abia Jinayako. Yeah. Uh, Rafu Sasa Dio to ingie his explanation. Zahi Basi and Yeni Basi Go Electric. Yes. Yes. So, my name is Frederick Mutika. Uh -huh. mm. I'm um, the product marketing and operations manager at Basigo, mm -hmm. uh, which is an e-mobility startup, yes. only focusing with the electric buses. Uh, yes, so with us, we have, a, we call it the Kubwa, it's a 36-seater bus, uh -huh. with a, which is fully as air suspension, tailor-made for the Kenyan market, yes. basically. Um, it's 36 seaters. Uh, some of the features maybe you can see. Inside. Yes, we it's can fully, get in eh? Yes, yes. Yes. It's fully electric. Uh -huh. Meaning then has no engine, has no uh, gearbox. Yes. So maintenance is a little bit uh -huh. low. It only mm -hmm. has a motor mm -hmm. and the range is 300 kilometers. What do you mean by range? At 100% it can go 300 kilometers. So when it before, is fully charged, yes. you can do 100 kilometers. 300 kilometers. 300 kilometers. Yes. Wow. Yes. Uh -huh. um, and the charging time is between two hours to four hours. Mm -hmm. um, with fast charge is two hours. Yes. Um, comes with Wi-Fi. Okay. It has a lot of uh, cameras for security purposes. Yes. Um, also for the passengers, mm -hmm. uh, comes with a charging port. So you'll notice our buses don't have loud music. Yes. Once we provide you with the Wi-Fi and the charging ports, mm -hmm. then uh, you can listen we, your own music. Your own music. You don't yes. need to be told. Uh, you can see how comfortable they are. Mm -hmm. You can see the the charging ports. Mm -hmm. Each seat has uh, its own charging ports. Yes. Here they are. Mm -hmm. um, we have bucket seats. Okay. Leather, synthetic leather. So the the, the bus is comfort mm. on air air suspension. Mm. So you won't feel the bumps. And what are these things? So this is for the people who are standing up. Mm. We mm. also have stop uh, buttons. Uh -huh. Also, if you want to shuka, yes. you just press this just one. Just press this one. So you don't need to keep shouting. Uh -huh. And once uh, you press them, the mm. driver knows, mm. and then the, the bus will come to a stop. Mm -hmm. Yes, something. This, uh -huh. Okay. Go so on. something good also is that this bus is fully cashless. Uh huh. You have to download an app called Journey. Okay. Um. Uh, once you download, you get to either pre-book your seat in advance. Mm. Or once you're inside the bus, mm -hmm. you either get to pay through QR codes, you can see them. Mm -hmm. All the seats have uh, QR codes. Yeah, so the QR codes. Yes. Once uh, you scan, you get to pay. Mm -hmm. Immediately, you just put in the amount mm. through your m -Pesa, and uh, that is how you get to pay through And QR if you are codes. carrying someone who has a kabambe, who, a person who does not have access we to... We also it. have something we call SDK push. Okay. Where the conductor gets to get, put your number mm. and then you just put your Mpesa pin and that's it. Okay. Yes. And this bus operates along which route? This particular bus uh, operates uh, Nyayo Estate, okay. A and D, uh -huh. through uh, to Westlands. So we have direct uh, trips to Westlands mm -hmm. from uh, Nyayo Gate A, Gate D, uh -huh. to Westlands. Mm. Yes. <coughs> and it looks very new. Is this bus... Um, Second hand or they are built here in Kenya? We build them here in Kenya. Uh, yes. This this bus is actually what two months old. Uh, yes. And now because you are talking about uh, electric vehicles, yeah. how do you compare this bus with a uh, with a uh, with a uh, petrol or diesel bus? Let's say you are driver here. When you are a Yeah. Like how much money more does he make compared to someone who is driving the normal uh engine cars? So on average, um, these particular buses uh, give you 40% more revenue uh -huh. as compared to the diesel buses. Yes. Uh, remember, that is composed from uh -huh. the servicing. Uh -huh. So you have less servicing since mm. you have 
fewer parts yes. no engine no gearbox mm. apart from the motor which has a warranty and really stays mm. your only cost here would be the tires mm. and probably a little bit panel beating mm. once in case there's an accident mm. but charging is done mm. so meaning the bus yes. can always be on the road as long as it's charged yeah. yes. so for context yeah. let's say mtu wako na hii umesema ni 36 liter yeah a 36 seater bus that uses engine yeah. normally a driver would collect how much within the same route that you use yeah. and then how much you are driver along you know using electric bus does how much does he collect so that we can see how much money do they save on top of using an engine car and hence the importance of you know transiting to electric buses okay so uh, rough estimates these yes. are not uh, accurate uh, estimates yes um For this bus on a full day we can do around 30,000 yes collections mm. and uh, your net revenue basically is around 12,000 12,000 yes. yes well as you compare to the rest could even if you did collect the 30,000 mm. means you'll have gone more mileages mm. you'd spend around 12,000 on fuel mm. and then all the small small expenses on probably you'll, you'll end up with around 8000 mm, mm, to 7000 mm, mm. for the diesel buses yes yeah. and where do you charge this bus we have our own chargers we yes. have our main charging <coughs> point is at uh, even business park mm-hmm. along uh, airport north road yes we also have uh, buruburu tj and you uh-huh. we also have regan yes along uh, wayakiwe uh-huh. and then thika at uh, new gatitu uh, yes and you said it takes how long to charge between 2 to 4 hours if yes. it is fast charge is 2 hours mm. if it is uh, which we prefer to do during the night time uh, it takes 4 hours to fully charge uh, with a slow charge then how much do you pay now to charge to full capacity well, how our pricing model is a little bit different uh-huh. so the way we do this is we have a system called pay as you drive uh-huh. You get to pay as per, per kilometer okay. driven. You give uh, us a certain amount which is around 70 shillings mm. which caters for your cleaning, mm-hmm. the bus cleaning, uh, the charging. Yes. And uh, small daily checkups uh, that is required. Yes. Yes. Ah. Uh, so what question do you think I have not asked? <laughs> how the market is accepting this yes buses, yes which is actually very no, first of all the customers the users of these buses yes how do they react because ni lingia kwanza nikasikia gari haigurumi nikashindwa inaenda ikiwa imezima what is the perception okay. when it starts going uh, there is uh, an alarm that uh, so that people can know there is something going yes. but it is very silent mm. because again b- being fully electric <coughs> yes the reception is fantastic uh-huh. um we've seen where We go to a stage mm-hmm. this comes people leave their diesel buses to actually get this because of the comfort. Yeah, yeah. And then people also moved from the loud music and all so mm. we are trying we also train um the crew mm. customer service so yes. you'll notice the way others will keep shouting at you requesting for mm. money that you don't have. Mm, mm. Um again <laughs> since the bus is fully cashless meaning mm. there's less leakage mm. you actually get to monitor The all income. your revenues yes, in yes. real time yes 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 ah so <clears throat> comfort makes customers really want the bus mm. um the customer service is also very good yes uh, with the minimum uh, minimal interaction with the conductor since again uh, it's cashless you yes. get to pay mm. yourself once you agree the amount mm. you pay and that is it mm. yes and um how much does it cost <laughs> um We have two different ways of uh, models of payments. Yes. We have the leasing model uh-huh. and the ownership model. Yes. So but majority we are currently focusing on the leasing model. Yes. Where you give us 1 million uh-huh. and then per kilometer mm. you get uh, you give us 70 shillings yes. per kilometer uh-huh. driven, with a minimum of 6000 kilometers per month. Yes. Yes. Or six, you have to do 6000 kilometers per month. You have to do 6000 kilometers uh, per month. Yes. Uh, so that goes for uh, how long? Depending on the term of uh, or, the contract list. Uh, uh, that is how long it does. Yes. yes. And outright purchase how much? Let's say I am rich. If and I have all the money. I, I can't really say that amount <laughs> at this moment. Yes. Uh, because again the pricing keeps changing with the taxes. Uh, We had already implemented new stuff for the new tax uh, uh, for the finance bill that was cancelled. Yes. So we had to go back to the to 2023. The old one. Uh, so we are still trying to balance and mm. since now we are actually assembling them here. Yes. 
in Kenya, we are yet to get that correct fit. Correct pricing. Uh, yes, yes. But one thing I think I have heard about these cars is that if you buy this car and operate it for 10 years, yeah. you will have saved, like, uh, on your total cost of ownership, yeah. you will have saved over, like, 60 million or something. Because I think if you'll collect a lot of money in 10 years, yes. but if you are using electric bus, yeah. you will save like 65 million compared to someone else who is... Is it 65 or 25? I need to check. It's around, but I have uh, had so many studies done even by universities and true, those true. kind of things. Remember again, your monthly cost is very reduced. Yes. Yeah. There is really no... The, the monthly servicing, uh, you, the normal buses has, <coughs> have to stop for like a day or two for uh, servicing. Uh, this doesn't. Yes. This can do seven days mm. per week mm. without stopping. Mm. Just charges and it's out. Mm. So it's also depending on the circle or the owner and uh, how they want to do. Mm -mm. The more uptime for this mm. bus has 98% mm. uptime on average. Yes. Meaning the number of days it gets to rest is very minimal. Mm. And that can go for even 12 years that's mm. stop. Mm. Yes. Wow. So I think, thank you very much. We have gathered a lot of uh, insightful information yes. from you. Yes. And I hope that next time when I'm going to work, I can use this bus because first of all, it is very silent. Yes. There are no noises. It is very clean. It is very new, which is very unusual when you are using public transport. Karibu sana. So and are, are your fares more expensive than others? Not really. Because of this excellent service? No, no, no. Eh. Like this bus uh, is owned by Ambassador, you can see. Eh. So they charge the normal price. Yes. And, uh, you, and even better is you get to, to pre-book. You don't need to go queue. Uh, you secure your seat through the app. Oh, and you just go and... Mm, so the people time. know what time it, the yes, bus will be passing. There's a whole schedule uh, on the app. Mm, and then you get to select the seat. Mm, you book your seat, you uh, find the seat there. You don't need to queue. Uh, and then this struggle, Sijuku uh, Menyesha... Fairs me panda uh, no no we don't do but that. I assume pale kwa stage watu wanataka kuingia hii sana kuchukua na hii na ingine si watu wanapigania hii demand is very high for uh, this yes sawa sawa bro tumeshukuru sana Karibu. we will give you the link to our youtube channel so that you can view the feedbacks yeah. and probably yeah but tumeshukuru mm. sana Atasisi. this is something that I wish I can get it on my route yeah. route yetu bado tuna operate na diesel ni gari ni Vika road Tuko nayo kunayo kuna zalatema zina vita dhika road eh. yes kutoka dhika asubuhi eh. but naingia mwiki oh si ya mwiki eh, ni straight ni straight Ivo. on inatoka dhika ikienda but eh. Eh. i'm sure in the next few years. one year eh. is not eh. even a few months eh. more circles are really zitaingia huko zitaikuja so msl eh. very eh. soon utaona eh. moja eh. super metro already wako na and they already applying that eh. so it's probably just directing it mm. towards that side yes. eh. sawa sawa bro nimeshukuru sana ah, yeah. na all the best Karibu and sana. see you next time thank you thank you all right